Y'all, every time I hear something else about Lauren Bobert, I become more and more convinced that we somehow went to high school together. You know, like, I know this person, man. I do, because, see, I am of the whiskey tango persuasion, and as such, I know another trash monster when I see one, okay? I mean, you know, it's not like she tries to hide it. She just got kicked out of a theater in Denver for vaping and hollering stuff. You know, my fellow trailer Americans, I ask you, who among us, right? I mean, we do that. We do, you know, get a little too excited at a public event, start cussing in front of the eight-year-olds, then act indignant when the bouncer shows up. Oh, what, is it illegal to have a good time now? I thought this was America, right? I know. I've been there myself. I have. Now, granted, I wasn't a congressperson at the time. I was 22, hammered drunk, and the Titans were losing again. But still, I've been there. Now, but I'm just saying, Bobert checks so many red-ass boxes, it's insane. You know, like she was born in Florida, a.k.a. the fertile crescent of crazy crackers, right? To a teen mom, Natch. She grew up on welfare and food stamps. She dropped out of high school when she herself got knocked up. Now that baby's having a baby, so she's a 36-year-old mammal. She married, then divorced a guy who wouldn't stop pulling his dick out in public. She's always talking shit about having a gun in her purse, and she has an ongoing feud with the other craziest bitch in town. That is some top shelf trashery right there, y'all. Like, you just know she claims her grandma's one-quarter Cherokee, right? You just know it. And I'm saying, all that makes me wish that I could root for this person. Kinda. I do, you know? Like, if she was out here actually standing up for the little guy, taking the elites down a peg, reading stuff, knowing facts, shit like that, I'd be all for it. I'm like, hell yeah, finally some representation, right? But she's not. No. Bobert's dedicated her life to being wrong out loud. Every time she talks, it's like the chat GPT of harmful ignorance. She outwardly hates other marginalized groups. She screws over our own people by trying to take away the same government benefit programs that kept her alive as a child. Lord, I cannot stand a ladder puller, y'all. Drives me crazy, right? Like I'm saying, I don't I don't hate Lauren Bobert because she's white trash. I hate her because she's a piece of shit, right? And I know some of y'all are going to hear that and be like, well, that's a little redundant, but it's not. It's really not, okay? Some of the most genuine, kindest, most empathetic people I've ever known were trailer babies, and an affinity for Mountain Dew and the early works of Limp Biscuit does not change that fact, okay? This country would do well to have a chamber full of them, but alas, it is not to be. No, instead, we're stuck with Bobert. And Bobert is just another loudmouth, vindictive asshole who somehow took all the wrong lessons away from her life and now spends her time spewing misplaced rage and making us all look bad. It's a damn shame. What's up, YouTube? Back with more in just a second, but I wanted to let you know that this righteous missive is once again brought to you by the good folks at Private Internet Access, the world's most trusted VPN provider with over 30 million downloads. Listen, y'all, nowadays being on the internet without a VPN, it's like leaving your phone unlocked in a room full of teenagers. You're just begging to get snooped on, okay? But PIA's VPNs hide your IP address and encrypt your internet connection, thus shielding you from the prying eyes of the nefarious types out in the digital world. That's not all PIA's VPNs can do. They also can make it appear as though you're logging on from any country on earth, which means you can check out that country's version of Netflix if you want to. Pretty sweet. PIA's VPNs are available across all platforms, and now with only one subscription, you can safeguard unlimited devices. That's right. I got all my devices, my wife's, my son's, all hooked up under one subscription. So if that sounds good to you, here's what you can do. Click the link in the description below to try private internet access today for 83% off with four months free. Signing up always includes 24-7 customer support and a 30-day money, day money back guarantee. So what more do you need to hear? If you think any of that sounds complicated or techy, it's not. Here's the app. There's the button. You push the button. And just like that, it's on. That's all you got to do. It couldn't be simpler. So try private internet access today. What's up, YouTube? We're back. Hope you didn't mind that ad too much. Listen, I was thinking, I was trying to think, like, do we have any good, you know, like, trailer trash representation in Congress, you know? And I couldn't, th I figured I might be forgetting somebody. I tried to Google it, but that's hard. If you Google Congress and trash, you mostly just get a bunch of articles about either Republicans being called trash or Republicans being mad that they were called trash, you know, or, like, journalistic, socioeconomic you know, studies about how it's bad to call people trash, which I firmly disagree with. Look, I mean, as long as you're trash, you can call people trash. Anyway, it made it hard to come up with any good results. And I might be forgetting somebody, but I was thinking, I don't know who we have. We need some representation in there. At first, I thought it was Fetterman. You know, that one of the reasons I love Fetterman so much is I was like, this is one of my people right here. Looked it up. Still think Fetterman's great, but like his daddy was rich. He's from an affluent suburb. He went to Harvard, all this stuff. It's actually kind of typical senator shit, but I, I, but I thought about it. And I, you know what? No, I don't care. I'm anointing him. 
he's honorary trash, right? Look, he's earned it. He's done all that, he's done all that real deal, blue collar working class stuff. He's got all them tattoos. He looks like he wrestles at the county fair, right? He's always wearing a hoodie and cargo shorts, the official attire of burly wintertime trash everywhere, all right? He's one of us. We're claiming him, okay? That's what I decided. We're claiming John Fetterman. Whether he likes it or not, he's trash now, but in a good way, the good kind. You know what I'm saying? He's a trash champion. That's what he is. Trash champion, John Fetterman. Put that on a sign. Anyway, thank y'all for being here. Uh, appreciate it. I'm going to put these little uh, icons up on the screen here. Get you uh, check out the special if you haven't or whatever this video is. It should be funny, so watch it. Also, subscribe to the channel. It's one of the other circles. And the main circle, from my perspective, it takes you to TreyCrowder.com where you can see my tour dates. You can come see me do stand-up comedy live. You can also pre-order my book, Round Here and Over Yonder, coming very soon. A funny travel guy that wrote with Corey Forrester. But mostly come see me. But the main thing is you keep watching these silly things, and I'll keep making them. I love you like chicken. See you. Bye.